if you have like 20, was it 20, 30 seconds to end it, give yourself 10 seconds, breathe so you can be a clear mind and then ban champions. What's going on YouTube? H-Dub here and you know we playing Raid. Today I am joined by one of the top PvP players in the community. I consider him to be one of the top. That is Mr. Educated Potato. This dude absolutely tore it up in Live Arena, guys, doing over 480 fights, you know, close to 500 fights. He was top 10 on the leaderboard. Day one, he was like number one on the leaderboard. Also consistently, you know, finishes around the top of Platinum Arena during reset. So, yo, Potato, what is up, man? Thank you for joining us today. Hey, man. Thanks for letting me... Let me come on here. Sorry, I was picking a team for doing live fights right now as well. Nice, nice. Yeah, man. Anytime you want to come on, man, you're always welcome. It's it's no big deal. We can figure it out. But today, guys, we're gonna be talking about live arena because it is in fact live. You know, beta is over, it's in the game. Everybody has a shot to do this, and people are gonna want to know what some of the top strategies are, what some of the top champs are, and just how it compares to the other PvP modes we have in the game. So I've been doing a ton of fights myself, not as many as Potato, but I feel like I do have a bit of experience there. So we're just going to share with you guys, you know, what we've, you know, been through, what we found works, and hopefully it can help some of you guys out. So first thing I definitely want to talk about is just, you know, champions, right? Because champions are gonna they're gonna 100 percent make a difference would you agree oh major yeah and so, it's a little bit different than uh platinum defense now mm, mm, how so because now we're doing offense versus offense so mm -hmm. the meta is going to be a bit different for live arena than it would be for plat for mm -hmm. example more two is awful more two is yeah because he's gonna yeah. you know you gotta wait on him they can pick single target, you know, nukers, never yeah. touch them. Stone skin can drop off and they can just destroy him. <laughs> so <laughs> agreed there. I'd like to go with, you know, a, a similar, you know, kind of range of champions every time that I go into a fight. Right. So I kind of yeah. go with like a, a lockout champion, a reviver, two nukers and like one more support. What about what about you? What's what's kind of been like your 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 mindset when like picking the champions so i i have two supports like two revivers two nukers and then you have a flex spot your mm -hmm. flex spot is going to be your necrit your uko for cc or your lockout champion mm -hmm. a lot of the times i personally haven't been picking lockout that much really uh yeah because what i end up doing is i let them have a lockout and then i just pick a champion that's fine being locked out like rodos or I have a plus four Rhonda, so I use her. I just use her A1. Now, A1 everybody to death. Mm -hmm. And they think they won because they got a lockout in. Yeah, yeah. But, I, I, well, usually Necrit <laughs> helps out in Boulder. I haven't. So I don't have a Necrit. I don't have a Duchess. I've had to, you know, kind of yeah. go about it a, a different way. But I'm using, you know, like you said, Rotos doesn't care about being locked out. I feel like Rotos has been 100% the MVP for me. Um, and as you you guys can see, I'm up against like a mad guy. This dude has, you know, four plat trophies. I don't know how this fight is going to go, but we did just get locked out here. Now he has a, a Duchess and stone skin. So obviously I got to wait on stone skin to drop off. We did bring in UDK. All I need is Rotos to, you know, proc an extra turn a couple of times. He'll get us back in the fight. Hopefully I've, you know, done pretty well against some of the higher tier players, you know, at the moment but you know if you don't have a lockout champion on your account you know you don't have a, a crazy nuker what are what are you know some things that can help people who don't have like the meta champions what, what would you think you know they need to be looking for when going into these fights so even if you have meta champions there's still a lot of really good epics and even some rares that are worth using that mm -hmm. people don't think about like, I trolled it the other day using a, well, not the other day, but when the beta is live, mm -hmm. using the out, Outrider, the Uncommon. Really? Just Yeah, because he has a 7.7 .7 multiplier in his A2. Wow. So that I was is just able to go in there and just one-shot people over and over. 
that is something that you you know you don't find every day you know bringing a rare champion into arena against like some some of the top competition in the community and you know no. I, I love to see it i love to see it of course it doesn't always work but there's always even if you have bad champions you probably have enough champions you just don't realize it definitely and then you know gear gear definitely comes into play as well gear you know? number one Gear, I would say, is number one for sure. And um, we're doing, we're looking pretty good against this guy right now. Um, we're not, we're not doing too bad. We're taking it slow because obviously, you know, live arena is a, a, a slow thing. You got to have time for it. Um, I think that is going to be the thing that affects most people. And we're gonna beat this, this guy with from Mad with these four trophies he has. Easy peasy two minute farm. So champion selection, I would say, is everything. Knowing the champs you're going in with is just is huge. I would say that's probably the best strategy tip that I could give anyone is like know what champions you're going in with. What do you, what do you yeah. do you? How, the, oh, yeah. go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. And I have that's a question. Like most of the fight is done right in the champion select turn. Mm -hmm. You can either you can literally psych out your opponent by using scary champions and they'll end up not being the right mindset and just make dumb decisions nonstop. Definitely. Definitely. So I have a, a question for you, right? So mm -hmm. how many different champions do you, you know, think about when you're coming into a fight? Like at the moment you hit find opponent, it starts loading up, right? Before you even see the mm -hmm. avatar. What it, how many champions do you have in mind that you're going to go with? My arena built champions, my main ones, there's about... 25 built for arena right now 25 like, yeah yeah built well and that some of them can, some of them oh, obviously uh play you know similar roles though right yeah a lot of them are nukers most of them are different um revivers and stuff mm -hmm. like for example when, once we get the gold tier we can't use duplicate tamp chains anymore right right so we're gonna have to start being a little bit unique with it mm -hmm. so one of the champions that build up for it is Raka. Raka's yeah. not as good as Duchess, but if they have a Duchess and they have a Sippy and I don't, it's about the next best thing. I've uh, I've uh, been using Raka during Plat Reset, but mine is, you know... Yeah, I think she's underrated. She is underrated. I think she's a great champion. I wish I could, you know, find a build that I really liked on her. I, would, I probably should, you know, ask you some questions about her for sure, but... um. Yeah. I definitely want to, you know, invest in her more and use her more because I have a decent, you know, sheep blessing for her. So I want to get more use out of her. But I just share, uh, you know, potato screen with you guys. I don't have it full screen just because of the circumstances at the moment. Trying to share two of his screens has been a bit taxing on my computer. But we're going to take a look at yeah. some of his fights and talk a bit more about the strategy. Um, he said that, you know, he has about 25 champions that, you know, are built well for arena. I don't think I have 25 per se. I know that I do have at least, you know, 15 or so that are built well for arena. And when I go into a fight in live arena, I have about six that I choose from pretty much every time. You know, I haven't even been thinking about what my opponent is going to pick so much as I've been trying to have faith in my gear, my builds and my champions and just what I've, you know, found works and what doesn't work but we have his mm. screen pulled up right now he currently is Bye. in a fight with the the opponent immediately left it seems yeah i locked him out <laughs> 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 my uh without going into exact details my email is very fast very fast and we won't very disclose fast. that because we know people are going to yeah. want to watch this and they're going to be like oh how fast is his yumiko yeah. let me try to counter it we're not gonna no leaks here guys no leaks here and you know obviously you know it is a bit blurry i apologize for that you know under circumstances but you guys will get to see the fight right and you'll get to see you know kind of what he's he's doing when he's selecting his champions now yeah i'll talk you through it too yeah go go right ahead we're, we're listening man so right now they're picking first. Harima, by the way, before we start talking about all the champions, I think she's the number one nuker in live arena. Ooh. She's the biggest pain. So right here, I don't really care about my Sippy. 
but they lock them out. So I always put Sippy first because I want, and mine's plus three. I want them to think it's important. Mm-hmm. So the main thing, one of my main nukers is Rodos. They're in Dutaris Mariska. Uh-huh. But you can't pick Rodos until you're in their fifth spot. If you're not at the fifth spot, you can't pick them because I, they're going to pick, pick UDK. And I then agree. That's the fight. Yep. So I'm going to let him know one nuker, which is for me is usually Taurus. And then this is my flex spot. I always save my last nuker for last. That's where I'm going to pick my Rodos or something that they can't prepare for. Agree. Which in this case, it's not going to be Rodos. Actually, I think it will. It's either Rodos or I could pick Ronda and lock the passive and just be done with it. Mm-hmm. So in this situation, we're going to do Rodos just for fun. Usually we'll lock out Yumiko. I'm not too worried about them having the Yumiko and locking me out, though. I really only care about Taurus, so we can get rid of him. Taurus versus Taurus. Okay. They locked out Rodos. They're smart. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting you say you pick your Rodos in the last spot because I do the exact same thing. Yeah, if you don't, they're just going to pick UDK. And that gives them a free pick yep. every time. So, unlike Rodos, instead of uh, Taurus here, I should have picked Ronda. Because Ronda doesn't care if she gets locked out. I can A1 everybody. Mm-hmm. But Taurus kind of does. And that's okay. I'm going to say A1 through this. It's going to be a hard fight, actually. I'm going to keep sleeping. And remember that when you're using Siffy, you got to watch the turn meter. I see people doing that all the time. Above 50% sleeps below heels. Um... What do you think is the strongest champion for Live Arena right now? I think the strongest champion is, well, for me, the strongest champion is 100% going to be, I would say, one of the nukers. It's either going to be Harima or Rodos. Just because, like, they they bring so much to the fight. Like, you know, we've already mentioned Rodos doesn't care about being locked out. He can, you know, flip the, the... the fight around and you know an instant if he takes an extra turn his a2 has a two turn cooldown guys so it's like absolutely ridiculous it, i don't understand how more people aren't invested in him i've seen accounts where they're like not using rotos on them and i'm just like yo what are you doing like you're missing out you are trying to make progress in 3v3 but you're not using a rotos like that is insane to me Harima would be 100% next because like I feel like you even if you build her pure pure damage right you build her pure damage she's going to be reliable even if you don't and you like tank her out a little bit but you still crit cap her and you still give her like a little bit of crit damage she's going to increase her defense so much during the fight and then you bring in increased defense as well a speed lead is not necessarily mandatory for this as well so you could run you know udk in lead to get more defense like she has so much versatility now obviously at the higher tiers you're going to want to like if you're bringing her in as a nuker she needs to be full damage but even a hybrid build on her is still very annoying because she's doing damage mitigation if you can't kill her or the team like she's going to keep increasing her defense if you're running duchess or any of that stuff she's going to be provoking you and somebody else just quit on you. You're <laughs> bye. So where he messed up there is he revived immediately. Oh, bottom set. So one of my buddies, one of my clanmates. Yeah. He revived uh Harima with Sippy. So he wasted his revive when he knew I was about to kill Marishka next. Uh-huh. So then he wouldn't be able to revive Marisha. So he just he killed his own loop. So Har- Harima you know, obviously, I'm I'm Harima biased. I'm biased to us to Harima. <laughs> I don't have her, and I still think she's currently the best live arena nuker because she just destroys Siffy mm-hmm. immediately. Or not Siffy, Duchess. Duchess. Yep. She, even though Duchess has block buffs, block debuffs, she goes right through it. Bottom set's a buddy of mine, so he knows exactly the champions I don't want to fight, which is Uko and Harima. So he's trolling me. <laughs> Let's see. So yeah, she can provoke Duchess. She can, you know, she has a three hit A2. And that passive to 50% less damage on your team. It's it's so strong. Mm -hmm. But also it makes Rotos hit. Rotos multipliers really aren't that good. People forget that. 
So because of that, it just makes Rotos hit really, really poorly against her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, especially if you get like decreased attack on him. It's a it's a hundred percent a game changer. He turns into a, a complete wet noodle guy. Yeah. Under that, um Uko has been she's a pain. Mm-hmm. I always call it Ruko C. He is a pain. Me too. Uh <laughs> I had a fight earlier today. I couldn't make it up. I had sheep on my entire team. Uko uh, stunned me seven times in a row, full team. And I was like, I don't know what's happening right now. So I just lost. <laughs> Dude, stun set Yuko is underappreciated. And a lot of people, like, if you don't do competitive arena, right? So if, you, if you're not pushing plat, you're not aware of, like, stun set Yuko, right? People are always asking me, like, you know, is this champion worth it? I'm like, yo, Mighty Yuko is probably a top 20 champ in the game. It's as far one of my top five. As, yeah, I would say versatility. Like, yeah, I could easily probably put Mighty Yuko in the top 10 just because, you know, this is a champion you can use in arena, in-game arena. This is a champion that you can use in PvE content as well, in-game Hydra content. He's absolutely amazing. The kid is is amazing stone skin harima look stun stun crazy he's two stuns me. i send a pick to rotos because he's gonna pick udk but that's what we do oh, i'm getting a little bit of lag here there we go how could you bounce back in this fight my rotos can kind of pop off over time i just gotta kill uko first extra turn there you get the a2 but of course, we can get a bunch of weak hits. Um, using Sippy's A1 over and over to just keep sleeping the Nuker and Uko instead of buffing up, it's going to help me out a lot. Definitely. So Taras doesn't get the kill there. That is very helpful. There we go. Extra turn. All Uko's right. dead. No more lockout. Wow. The edge. One HP. Wow. That's all right. I'll let Duchess kill her. Wow. Wow. What about these stages, though? Am I right? They're pretty sick, I, man. You see the... You saw the silver stage, right? It looks like a burning Oreo. I, I love it. I wasn't in silver that long. Oh, it's beautiful. Wait till you see it. Oh, yeah. I think I it's better than the gold stage. Really? Yeah. All right, so we got Harima here. Stone skin has fallen off of the Harima, and it looks like you're taking this one, man. Oh, yeah. Come on, don't weak hit. Weak hit. So, turn mirrors below 50%. Now we'll buff, and we'll just A2 right there. We're fine. Easy peasy. Nice, man. So you... You're definitely one of the most competitive people that have, you know, yeah, been uh, doing live arena for sure. Arena is what keeps me in this game. Mm-hmm. All right, so real quick, let's look at some champions. One of the best champions that you can do, especially if you have a reset champion like Hymar, mm-hmm. would be Shemail. One Piece Stone Skin Shemail. He ignores 25% defense for each buff he, is, he has on there. So I brought a Shemail in there, just reset, and just slowly took down enemies over and over. Because he, he can ignore 100% of defense. Uh-huh. That's really good in there. Any block revive champions are pretty meta. He fully doesn't hit very hard, but we also have... I've seen Phoenix in there. Constantine. Constantine, yep. Undead Demon Spawn and Knight's Rev. That's basically all the meta. Yep, yep. Then we have Cupid as a Venus doesn't work anymore. Nope. That's completely dead. I'm going to do some testing in Mountain King. I think he might be decent. Uh, What's his name? What about Inithui? That's that's who I'm looking for. There he is. Inithui. Demon Spawn, yep. So Inithui is very... His multipliers are bad. But... If you can A3 somebody, or A2 somebody, this hits does a lot of damage. And you just take out their nuker, you instantly win the fight. Uh-huh. But yeah, you can use Fenex as well. If you have an ally attack team with Fenex, 
Yep. That's what I got hit with earlier. And it was a, uh, it was very unexpected. Um, I'll say that I did not lose, but it was unexpected, right? Because I had UDK on the team, you know, obviously the first hit is going to get redirected, but the other hits are not going to get redirected. And Phoenix just, you know, block revive my Siffy. It was, um, obviously I bounced back with Rodos, but it, it caught me off guard. You know, it definitely yeah, caught me off guard. Imagine it's that double hit on Rodos. It's done. It's done. That's yeah. the fight. Uh, George is going to be up there as one of the top nukers. Definitely. He, when someone picks George, I I get scared every time. I, I almost instant ban him. But that's one of the things we we're talking about, how you can get psyched out at the beginning of the fight. Someone picks George, my whole brain starts paying attention to everybody else. And I'm like, you got you to gotta ban George. Mm-hmm. So I have to actually stop for a second. If you have like 20, was it 20, 30 seconds to end it? Give yourself 10 seconds, breathe. So you can be a clear mind and then ban champions. Definitely. Definitely. Because if not, you don't want to do emotional banning. You'll lose the fight. <laughs> emotional banning. Yeah, I've done it. <laughs> <laughs> it Remember, I lost to Harima twice and I just got so angry. So every time Harima popped up, I start banning her, not noticing, not even paying attention what I was putting myself up against. Yeah, Harima is... I pulled for her in the 10X. Well, I, mm-hmm. You know, and I, I use pull for her, you know, lightly because obviously when I say pull for her, I'm just pulling my shards. And when some people say pull for her, they're pulling like I mean, 500, 1,000. 1,000, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so a bit different. it's a lot different. So I did, I did use my little bit of clam ball shards that I got to try to get a copy and an extra copy didn't happen but um probably my most wanted champion is just mo- more copies of her like yeah i would be grateful for a duchess i'd be grateful for a necrit you know marishka taras like i there's so many champions that i don't have that i would love just for pvp content but honestly i just I, like more copies of arima is that's my priority right now i've yeah <laughs> I found a way to, you know, get over not having those other champions and try to make do with what I have, trying all different types oh, no. of builds out. But, ooh, you got sheeped off the rip, man. So this this is what makes me not put Taurus above Arena for this. Harima for live Arena. He gets yeah. sheeped. He gets and sheeped. Then imagine if that's my only nuker. Yeah. We're, we're going to have a bad time. A quick tip. So say we're in a fight. And remember, we don't know who has sheep. Use your info button while you're waiting. Ooh. I see people not using this button at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we can see who has sheep because, uh, for example, using Rhonda, you don't want to accidentally sheep yourself. That's true. That's true, guys. So definitely hit that info button on the side. You can check out the blessings that are on each champion so that, you know, you're not targeting somebody that will put you out of the fight, potentially. Definitely yeah. a great tip there. What is going on? We is get it? those errors sometimes, and you just ignore it, and the game's fine. <laughs> I don't understand. Oh, because yeah. it's because he left a fight. Oh, it was trying to process that guy quitting. Eek. I guess it happens. So yeah, too often. Let's just uh, you brought up the point earlier of you know. Live is so much different than, you know, plat defense, right? Yeah. So I just want to just briefly talk about, you know, how it's different yeah. than, you know, plat and, you know, obviously 3v3 is way uh, different. So, and when we're doing regular plat or regular defenses. We're going against a defense comp. In live, we're going against offense versus offense. So that means when you bring your 140 speed Baron... It's not going to work anymore. Mm-hmm. You need your nukers to be a little bit faster. Mm-hmm. Like my Taurus is like 220 speed, and I think he's a little slow right now. Mm. See, he picked Rotos right off the rip. That's not, it's not great. So that's going to be a bit different. Not playing against AI is different, mm-hmm. which can be a good thing and a bad thing. I picked Rotos. It's supposed to pick Siffy. You got to pay attention to what you're doing. 
Um, because I noticed a lot of people will have super whale accounts and they just don't know how to play the game. Yep. Yep. You've know, yeah. been running into those a lot. I agree. Um, you know, a lot of people do have drivers. They, you know, have people that play mm -hmm. the accounts for them during reset and you know, Live Arena, the schedule was crazy, so people are going to have to play their account at some point. <laughs> and if you haven't been doing PvP at all, you're just pretty much not going to be, you know, successful just because it's a totally it's a totally different game. Like you said, yeah, we're going up against offenses. Like, we could see the, the really fast nukers coming back. Do you remember, like, I don't know how long you've been playing exactly, but I feel like a, a year and a half, maybe two years ago. Yeah, I was playing then. Okay, you were playing yeah. then when people were trying to have like the fastest nuker possible. You had like a Savage Trunda, like 240, 250 speed. Yeah. Like having a fast nuker was was everything back then because speed tuning was everything. And like now it's like speed yeah, now tuning. Now I have is, like a 150 speed Baron. I'm like, eh, he's a little fast. Right, exactly. For, for you know, classic arena because, you know, we got yeah. reaction to wait on. We've got stone skin to wait on. All of these things that, you know, just slowed down the meta so much, you know. It's, it slowed down every champion in the game pretty much. And then Blessings have taken, you know, a uh, hundred other or so player champions, you know, out of the, the game as well. So arena... 100% is not the same as it was. It is evolving. It is living. It is breathing. Um, I love it. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm really enjoying it now, man. I don't, I didn't, you know, before uh, I started pushing go for tag team arena, right? I, mm -hmm. I wasn't much of a PVP guy by far. Like I didn't really um, invest a lot in PVP champions. I didn't, you know, have too many crazy champions. I. You know, I had some, but they weren't, like, in amazing builds. It wasn't my focus. My focus was having fast dungeon times, you know, being able to do Doom Tower and whatnot and just complete missions. But it's like, now that I've done all of the missions... Yeah, what else is there to do? What else is there to do? It's time to start pushing Platinum Arena. So that's, you know, it's April now, which means I'm in my fourth month of pushing Plat. I just started pushing Plat. Um, last Christmas. So that was the, the first time I actually pushed plat. And now I'm like, dude, I'm a, I'm a PVP head now. Like I'm, I'm yeah, all in for all PVP. It's all I care about at this point. They could bring in a whole new set of missions at some point And like, it's not gonna change how I feel about PVP because it, it gets the blood flowing, dude. I'm up for reset, like, you know, three, 4 AM. My blood is, is flowing. My heart is pumping. I'm trying to jump in the plat by the, the, the skin of my, my hairs and whatnot, because I don't have, like, the duo. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, doing the top, doing top plat. I'm, I was getting top 10 a while back, but now I'm staying in, like, top 30 because I don't have the duo. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's so hard to go against them. Yeah. Because then your defense becomes a target. Look at yep. this guy's champions. He's a calm down. <laughs> So he's coming at you with a Siffy Warlord Harima Rotos. Is that LDL guy? Those guys are cracking. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, what's his name? What's it what's his name? LDL what? Burzy? I don't know. It looks like he's in Russian or something. I'll go with this. I think I, I think I beat that guy earlier. You got it. You got it. Easy clap, bro. Easy clap. Yeah, I was thinking about picking Yumiko, but then I changed my mind. That's <laughs> why. Uh, that's why my knickers are way in the back. So he's bringing in his Duchess. Makes me want to get rid of Warlord, automatically. But I, I don't like the Harima. The Harima is. The Harima is looking mean. That Warlord's too fast. Veranda. Okay. Go with the attack aura. He, want, he wants some of Ronda. He wants Ronda right now. The underestimator. He wants Ronda action. My window. <laughs> These are the fun fights. Like the way I'm feeling right now, I'm like, I don't know if I can win this. And that's that's great. Yep, yep, exactly. That's what I look for. 
I don't I don't care about just beating people easy. No, if you're having fun, even if you lose, you know you're having a good time. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, that that Rodos broke half my stone skin, a little over half. That's a really strong Rodos. Mm hmm. Yeah. So you... we're going to A1. We're just going to kill Rodos. Pop, 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 pop. Easy. Ronda is such a slept on champion, man. <laughs> When I show no. I show the tier list that I had right for you know live arena, and Ronda was mm. pretty high on the tier list, and I think it really caught some people by surprise because they're not, you know, they haven't prioritized yeah, Ronda, and it, and everyone's like nah, and I'm like no, I'm t look at that in your corner, you do that, that basically gives you an attack of everybody. I've won so many arena uh, live arena attacks or fights over that. I remember just running in and finishing the fight. Mm hmm Like, even your support champion is going, Ronda's cutting in and just blasting. So, this is what I was talking about. I don't know if she's got sheep. She doesn't. Turn that passive off. Oof. Oh. Oof. That's fine. Pop. Ooh. So, let's see if you already used a revive. That means she's going to revive, but then they are both without revives. Mm -hmm. So it gives me a chance to catch up. In your corner. In your corner. Look at her go. Again. Mm -hmm. I love to up. see it, man. Now, Rodos can kill. He should have went for Necrit. Necker's protecting Duchess, so it's kind of pointless. You get an extra turn. Boom. Kill Necker or Duchess. Target you Ronda. That was just dumb. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Let's get that up. I don't even have attack up right now. All right. Get rid of that. Goodbye. Revive good Ronda. Ronda is so good. And now I have her A3 should be about available now. And this dude has bone armor. Bone Sleep. stack. That's what I run on. Uh, I run that on my Rotos as well. Let's try. Let's try the A3. See if it's enough. Close. But uh, we know the fight is finished now. We got one. So not strong enough. He Does, didn't get the extra turn. So I don't care. Do the bone, the bone armor, you know, the procs, are they, they hit harder than, is it more beneficial than soul reap? I think so. Yeah. Because once you get the five or six star, you get 30% less damage per stack of bone armor. So look, he's got three stacks. Mm -hmm. So that that's up to 90% damage decrease. That's actually nuts. I wish I had a higher blessing on mine, but um, huge GGs, man. We haven't seen you take any losses yet. So I would say, yes, this guy is 100% one of the top PvP players in the community. But let's um let's, re let's just recap strategy really quickly, and then we're going to close it out. So we said, you know, champion selection and mindset. Make sure you're winning the, you know, champion selection, guys. Make sure you know who you already want to go into the fight with. Ha you know, have these champions geared. Don't try to make too many selections based on what the opponent is doing. I would say make sure you have in mind what you want to do when you go in and make them try to swap out champions based on what you are doing. Um, it's the best thing you can probably do for your confidence. Confidence, I feel like, is really key uh, in live arena. You got to you gotta be confident in what your champions can get done for you. Um, we kind of talked about some of the top champions and maybe some ways that you guys can... Uh, you know, if you don't have meta champions, just think outside the box. Like Potato mentioned a rare champion earlier. Um, there's some epic champions that are also viable here. We, we mentioned Finex, you know, with an ally attack champion is a is an option for you as well. It could counter UDK pretty well. And, um, you know, just this is different. You know, this is different than Plat. This is different than 3v3. You, you're going up against, you know, somebody else's offense, not necessarily somebody else's defense. And... That's just something you really want to keep in mind. But, yo, Potato Man, do you have anything else you would like to add before we just close out? 
just have fun. Have fun. That's the main thing. As, as, Even if you're losing, yeah. have fun. It's so fun. I would agree. I would agree. If you're not having fun with it, guys, don't 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 spend time letting it get you down. Don't. But um, yo, you just started your YouTube channel, right? You're getting it going. Yeah, we're getting started. Okay, okay. Nice. So we, I'm definitely gonna have that link down below, guys. He does have a Twitch channel as well. He's very active on Twitch. You're 100 yeah. percent gonna want to check him out on Twitch because. This video that I have up of his right now is just not doing justice to the amount of time that this guy has invested in his content creation, guys. So please go and check out his Twitch stream. Please go and check out his YouTube channel, guys. He's just getting it going. All of these links are going to be down below. He is an in-game player. He's in one of the top clans in the world. That is E.T. If you, you know... ET. I'm not an ET, but I'll shout it out anyway. My buddy scratches over there. So, you know, I got love for you guys. And if you guys are looking for account assistance, anything like that, definitely go check out Potato Stream. He does gear cleanses. He does all kinds of stuff that is going to 100 percent help your account. If you, you know, you need advice for PVP, this guy is doing a ton of PVP. Like we said, you know, over 480 fights during beta. This guy is consistently finishing at the top of plat, you know, top 30 or so. So use your resources, guys. We're all human too. We're not going to say, no, I'm not going to help you. We aren't, you know, gatekeeping mm -hmm. these things, man. Everybody, we want everybody to have fun. We want everybody to, you know, we share knowledge. Knowledge is power and there's no need to, to, to hold it, man. You want, you want people to enjoy themselves as well. So, Thank you guys always for watching. Thank you for your support. And don't forget, until next time, be good and be well.